Hey people, so <clears throat> I'm doing another video. <clears throat> I was tagged, so I'm just going to answer the questions in my tag that I got from Maddie Cutie 04. Okay, the first question is what's your favorite color? Um, my favorite color would have to be anything neon, okay? <laughs> Anything bright and neon, I love. Okay. What's your greatest fear and why? My greatest fear. Um, I don't know if I want to state that just because I want to be scared by people knowing my fear, you know. You can't let people know your fears, you know. That's just, it's too much control. <laughs> okay, next question. What made you start doing YouTube videos? Um, what made me start doing YouTube videos is um, because I discovered other people doing it and I said, why not? Why not I do some, you know? And why not I showcase what I sell? Instead of the usual um, makeup, hair, or just randomly talking, like I'm, I feel like I'm doing kind of different. I know there are some people that still do what I do, but I don't know. So, um, that's what made me start making YouTube videos. And, uh, what's your favorite food? Um, my favorite food, well, right now, I'm addicted to Yo Play Original Fridge Vanilla Yogurt. I have to have at least two or three out my day. Like, really. Yo Play yogurt. I think that's probably what's maintaining my size as well, but I'm so addicted to yogurt play yogurt. So that would have to be my favorite right now. Do you have a best friend? If yes, how many years have you been friends? I do have a best friend. Um, we've been best friends for about five years now. Do you have a boyfriend? No, I do not have I date here and there, yes, um, but I do not have a boyfriend. Do you have a favorite TV show? Um, my favorite TV shows are Desperate Housewives, uh, Pretty Little Liars, Dexter, True Blood, and um, of course I watch The Game like everybody else, and uh, Real Housewives is entertaining as well. Who is your hero? Um, my hero would have to just be my whole family. You know, because everybody has their struggles and everybody gets through them differently and everybody achieves something differently. So I would have to just say my whole family. I can't pick just one person. Like everybody's like, my mom, you know. I respect my whole family for their struggles and overcoming and being strong enough to handle it. So they are all are my heroes. Okay. Where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, I see myself um, doing a bunch of things. Like, um, I know most of you guys think like, oh, you know, this fashion thing is, is her whole life. That's what's going to be. That's it. No. There's other things I'm um, working toward to achieve as well. Like, fashion is just not all what I'm, I'm about. Like, I'm not going to, I don't want to say what I'm working on, but I'm working on opening two more other businesses that has nothing to do with fashion. So just know that I'm a business minded person. So whatever I do has a strategy behind it and has meaning. Uh, there you go. Okay. It has meaning um, behind it. So yes, I'm working on something else. Like um, I'm all about business and, and, Making, setting myself up futuristically, you know, for the future. Like, I want to be set. Like, I don't want to have to worry about my struggles. You know what? I'm not going to say I want to be. I know I'm not because that's just how determined and on it I am. And it has nothing to do with my fashion, really. Okay, so. So, in five years, I see myself um, living the life I want to live, honestly. Okay. So, um, your most embarrassing moment ever. OMG. I have too many embarrassing moments to have one as the most embarrassing one. Uh, okay. Okay. When I first started snowing, when I was 
making simple little tube dresses or whatever. The first dress, well, no, I, and I actually the first dress, like the third dress that I ever made, I wore it out going to the club with one of my uh, my old best friends, not the one I was just talking about, but another one. And so we're going to have to party, you know, you, you always think you're cute, of course. And you know the guy that say on the sideline saying little comments and stuff, but you just brush up like, oh, whatever, you know, I know, okay, whatever. No, you're not my type. You know, you do all that extra stuff. I mean, mentally, me, I don't do that like, you know, like other girls. So, um, and we get inside the club and then this lady taps me on my shoulder. And she was just like, and I looked at her like, okay, yes. And then she was just like, oh, you have a hole in the back of your dress, right? So I'm like panicking. I go run to the bathroom and my thread busted, right? Right where my butt, like right at the bottom of the butt, like where you can still see the line in between, like the crease and all that. It was so embarrassing. So then I was thinking to myself, like, that's probably what all those guys was talking about, you know? So that was like an embarrassing moment. Um, but luckily, I got some safety pins on the floor and made it happen. But um, it was just like meant for me to find those safety pins. Because how, how the heck do you find safety pins in a club, in the bathroom, on the floor, right at perfect timing? Like, that is just unbelievable. But whatever. So another embarrassing moment with all of my friends in Vegas. And um, we had just came down from the room. So, you know, we are all cute and stuff. I'm in my heels, of course. Because um, I'm the only one that didn't bring saddles and stuff because I just have to be steady. So, um, so I'm in my heels, you know, walking down to the little breakfast little area. And you know how some hotels um, in Vegas, they have, and downstairs they have, like, the breakfast, like, catering type of restaurant type thing or whatever. So, they're already in line. And they're like, oh, come on, we're about to go see get seated or they was figuring out whatever the payment whatever they asked me to come here so i walk over whatever and it was a rope right before the line so this is when this is like what new year's eve or one of those really packed weekends where everybody is in freaking vegas like one of those weekends right so i walk over and they're like oh yeah come over here so I'm walking to climb over the freaking rope and my heel gets stuck on the rope and I fall flat out of my face, okay? <laughs> that was embarrassing. That was definitely embarrassing. Um, let me see if I can think of another one. Uh, I can't think of another like embarrassing ever moment like I have so many it's not even funny now it's just like at first I used to be all like freaked out like oh my god oh my god did I just really fall you know now I'm just like whatever I don't even care like I know I'm cute so I ain't even tripping you know everybody falls everybody has an embarrassing moment nobody's perfect so I've come I've grown to accept that and now I'm not trying to be so just perfect so now, uh, I laugh at myself, you know, because it's funny, it's hilarious, like, you know, um, and there's so many, like, you know, embarrassing moments, it's just, man, I have too many, I, and it's always with me falling or tripping in, like, in front of everybody, you know, so, now, and you know, the craziest thing is it's always in Vegas, that's why I hate Vegas, I don't like going to Vegas anymore, because every time I go, I trip at least once, at least once. The last time we were walking in the mall, we were walking to one of my friends, her friend's hotel room, which was um, a guy, whatever. So we were walking over there, and the floors were slippery. We all had on our heels or whatever. Why am I the only one that tripped? I don't know, okay? Out of nowhere. It's like the air just trips me or something. I don't know. But uh, I tripped, yeah, and everybody was laughing, and it was so hilarious. And I was laughing at myself too, like, yeah, I don't know if I if I drank anything or I don't know, but it was funny. And I was like, dang, it's just every time I'm in Vegas, I trip or I'll fall or something. It's just something with me being clumsy. But anyway, um, 
Yeah, that would have to be a, a few, just to name a few of my embarrassing moments. Like, I'm sure I have more. I know I have more. I just can't think of none right now. But um, that's it um, for my tag. Um, thank you, Maddie Cutie04, for tagging.